Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Creative Hands by Shay. So today I'm here with another video where I will show you how to make this beautiful little heart here. So uh, this heart can be used for a keychain. I did put this little loop here on the bottom so it's easy uh, to be attached to the keychain. Uh, you can wear this on your bag. You can have it for decoration purposes. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you want to do with it, but it's just a cute little heart. And um, this uh, video will be very straightforward. It is quick and easy to make. Uh, not a lot of steps to do. Uh, the steps are mostly repetitive, so it will be very easy to follow. I will be uh, putting all the materials that I will be using to make this heart come to life uh, in my description and also on the screen. So guys, I hope that you watch till the end and stay tuned uh, till the end. Uh, <laughs> So guys, uh, let's jump in the video. So to begin, we will start off by making a magic ring. So wrap your yarn around your finger like this. Insert your And you're gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet so not the chain one the first single crochet now that you do your slip stitch there into each stitches around you will put two single crochets which will total into 12 at the end so I'm just gonna make my first one here and use my stitch marker to mark that first one that same stitch I'm gonna put another one so it's two three and continue doing that and I'll see you at the end so now I have come to my 12 single crochet I'm just gonna remove my stitch marker here and for row three we'll make one single crochet
can repeat that just to make sure that it is well secured. And I'm just going to go back on the other side and put that through. So now I'm just going to kind of weave in the portion so that it is well secured. how it looks joined together hope you can see that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off and I'm just gonna start here set my hook and attach my yarn just do a stitch there and a tie just to make sure that it is well secured so now into that same stitch, we're going to make one single crochet. So that's one. Use my stitch marker to mark that. And then you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitches around. You should have a total of 32 stitches once you're finished. Uh, making your single crochet around for row six. So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of making my single crochets. So now I have come to the end of making row six and this is what the top of the heart looks like. And I am going to remove my stitch marker here and do my slip stitch into this first single crochet and now that we have done that moving on to row seven we are going to single crochet into the first six stitches so one and i'm going to use my stitch marker to mark that two three, four, five, and six. Now that we do our six single crochet, we're going to do two together. So we're going to decrease one. Don't uh, finish that. Insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up your loop. Now you have three. Then you finish all three, pull through. So that's our first decrease right there. And then we're going to go do six more single crochet in each stitches. So continue that same sequence. So six crochet into each stitches. And then after that, you do a decrease. And I'll see you at the end of row seven. At the end of row seven, you should have a total of 28. So now I have come to the end of row 7 and I have my total of 28, removing my stitch marker and um, going into the next stitch we will start by making one single crochet into each stitches around and you should have at the end 28 stitches. So continue doing that and I'll see you at the end. So now I have come to the end of row 8 and I have my total of 28. Now moving on to row 9, we will do 5 single crochet in each stitch and then a decrease in the next 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we're going to do a decrease, pull up that loop, go into the next, and pull through all three. So that's our decrease. Follow that same sequence until you reach to the end, and you should have a total of 24. So now I have come to the end of row 9, and you can see that the heart starting to take on the shape. And I'm just going to remove my stitch marker. So moving on to row 10, 
it would make one single crochet starting there so for row 10 we will do four single crochet in each stitches so that's two three and four in the next we will do a decrease so pull up that loop go into the next stitch again and make your decrease so the sequence for row 10 is four In and I will see you after I'm done stuffing this part here so now I have finished putting in my little stuff in and this is what it looks like so just remove your stitch marker and moving on to row 12 we will make two single crochet in each stitch and then we will do a decrease so that's my first one there and I use my stitch marker to mark that and then my second and then I will do my decrease here. So one and two. I have my three loops on the hook, yarn over.
Okay, so what I'm going to do is to close up this hole here. I am just going to go in with my hook. Make a slip stitch there. And go back in from the top and go through this one here. You can do this with a needle, a needle, but I will just do that with my hook. And then I'm gonna chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm just going to attach that. Just put your hook through there. Pull that through slip stitch and I'm going to do another slip stitch cut that off and pull through and all you have to do now is to get your needle and weave your tail in so I'm just going to do that off camera and I'll see you there so guys this is the finished look of the heart and it's looking so cute i love the way how it turned out guys if you're new to my channel please do subscribe hit the notification bell so you can be notified each time i post a video and to my regular viewers and subscribers thank you so much for watching guys i do appreciate it until next time guys bye